Hi traders, Jean here from becomingtraderfx.com and in today's video I want to explain the USD Canadian dollar short trading opportunity we had today. So on the daily time frame uh, before we start that uh, with today's trading session uh, I want you to dismiss this current candle and just focus on uh, this uh, period of time. Uh, where we uh, started with today's trading. So what we saw today on the USD Canadian dollar before we started with London session was of course a price in the bearish structure on the daily. So we formed this double formation here, double top and we actually broke the major lows here at the start of the March market moved lower and we formed this support here. Market since then was in this retracement phase so we had this kind of a lower high and yesterday we closed bearish so we said we have bearish structure and as well uh, yesterday's candle uh, told us that we can uh, focus on possible shorts in order to target at least the lows of the day from yesterday. Why? Because in the bearish structure the objective of the market is to create of course a uh, lower highs and to uh, to aim for this low of the day from yesterday so that's what we saw on the daily and then if you move forward to the four hour time frame uh, what we saw on the four hour time frame uh, as you can see if we start let's say here and if we uh, do the analysis of the structure we can see that this was the low, market pushed to the upside, new high was formed, market retraced and we had this higher low in, in the place. So market bounced a little bit and then we had this lower high here as you can see and when this lower high was formed market actually started breaking to the downside. So when the market broke to the downside we had uh, this displacement on the 4 hourly between 1st, 2nd and 3rd candle we can mark this level up and market actually broke all those previous swing lows here so market formed also a new lower low and we said we can uh, look again for possible continuation and leg lower so today when we started with a London trading session we saw market in this retracement uh, area price was actually into the discount area because if we connect the Fibonacci from the swing high and the swing low we can see that market was in this uh, discount area on above 50% level. So when the market is in the discount area then of course we are looking for potential market structure shift on the lower time frame such as 1 hourly or 15 minute time frame or lower depends on your trading style and objective is of course to target at least the lows uh, in this case the lows from yesterday and if you go to the one hourly let me remove the Fibonacci from the four hourly so what do we see on the one hourly do we have any structure uh, change here so if you check the uh, one hourly uh, chart what do we see this is the start of the Asian session market uh, form this low moved higher and then what we noticed in before the London session opened we actually broke this uh, high as you can see this liquidity was swept and then the objective is of course to move to the next liquidity which is of course here at the Asian uh, lows the Asian session lows down there so on the one hour we didn't have any structure shift we didn't have like a uh, market moving higher uh, and then changing the structure with lower low retracement and then looking for potential move lower. No, we didn't have that and we can just mark those level up. So those were the lows from the Asian session and this was the high before uh, London uh, trading session opened here. So on the one hourly we didn't have nothing but what about let's say 15 minute time frame which is also uh, the time frame we use in our loan trading so if you zoom out as you can see on the 15 minute time frame do we have a structure change here so this is the start of the Asian session market 
formed uh, lows here and then uh, it moved into this bullish structure so what do we have here we have price breaking some previous lows and then it actually retraced back it broke the the, the highs from the Asian session and then what happened after which we had nice move to the downside so here is where you want to pay attention what happens here what happened here actually is of course nice structural change so market actually swept this liquidity the highs here and then it reversed so and we had this market structure shift so previous lows were broken market moved to the downside and on the breakout to the downside we had also nice bearish fair value gap zone so we had this high up here market moved lower for 14 pips created a lower low because previous lows were broken and what do we want to see in order to uh, to trade in order to uh, target the next liquidity pool is of course a price in the discount area so if we use fibonacci from the swing high to the swing low you can see market actually retraced exactly to this discount area above 50 percent and this is your area to look for short rates so if the market respects this level you can enter and that's what we did today and with students so market bounced from the discount area your stop loss goes above the structure in this case around 10 pips and what is your objective what is your um, uh, target you can trade uh, the next liquidity pool which is of course the asian session lows down there so in this case we are looking for a little bit more than one to one in terms of risk and reward ratio first you can target the lows of this structure market structure shift or as i said the asian session lows down there that's the beautiful trading opportunity we had today on the usd canadian dollar so make sure you study this because those opportunities occur uh, a lot on the markets and you have to be ready when those opportunities are presented so daily was retracing four hourly moved and bounced from the discount area and fair value gap zone one hourly uh, swept these highs from the asian session and on the 15 minute time frame we had nice beautiful market structure shift in order to target the next liquidity uh, pool so beautiful uh, trade beautiful setup we had today and as you can see uh, we just have to stay patient for those kind of uh, trading opportunities and when the action is when the time is right then we take action so thanks for watching and we catch up soon take care